So we finished our first round of egg retrieval um, and in vitro, but without egg transfer. So here's what happened. We did our egg retrieval stem meds without any issues. They went amazing. We triggered on time. Everything was perfect. We went in for my egg retrieval. I believe we retrieved 24 eggs. 22 of those were mature. However, when they went to thaw the sperm that they had frozen from Brandon, it did not thaw well. It did not survive um, as well as they had hoped. So it was really, really hard to get modal sperm to fertilize the eggs with. So out of the 22 mature eggs that we were able to retrieve, they were only able to fertilize eight. Um, we were still over the moon, so excited, so happy for that. Um, from those eight that fertilized, five grew into blastocysts, so that was five embryos. Um, then we had genetic testing done. So this genetic testing is going to look at all of the chromosomes um, and make sure that the embryo we choose to transfer is healthy enough to survive the transfer and result in an actual pregnancy. So if you have an abnormal embryo, chances are it's going to miscarry anyway. It will not be able to implant. It will not be able to grow. So the PGT testing will help narrow that down so we make sure that we transfer the right embryo that has the best chance of survival. We were able to test five. So there was five embryos that grew from the eight that fertilized. Five grew into blastocysts. We were able to PGT test those five embryos. Of those five embryos, there was one. One healthy embryo. So this left us with a lot of decisions to make. So we spent the rest of the weekend weighing through every single option that we had. One option was we could go through with the transfer of the one healthy embryo and hope that it takes. We could just hold off, give my body a break, leave the embryo frozen and just wait um, and give ourselves more time to think about what we want to do. Or we could do another egg retrieval and try to get more healthy embryos. Um, weighing all of these options, the biggest thing that kept coming back to me was the scenario that if we transferred this one embryo and I was to miscarry or it wasn't to take, going forward from that place, from a place of just completely having to start over, felt so daunting, so overwhelming, so scary. I really feel like I would have been scared and not motivated and I probably would have just given up in all honesty I feel like I would have just been completely defeated and I would have been like we tried it didn't work we quit so my thought was if we do another egg retrieval we move forward with the transfer after this egg retrieval and after we have a few more embryos then if something does happen and I miscarry, of course, that's still going to be hard. It's still going to be something that's going to have to be processed emotionally. But instead of having to start all over and redo stems and redo an egg retrieval and be delayed several months again, um, we would have other embryos as soon as my body was healthy and ready to transfer. Um, and I think that that would kind of give me more hope than not having anything if that makes any sense it's been such a complicated thing to process because it's just you're not prepared for all the different elements of this all weekend long me and brandon talked about this and we both just kept coming back to i think we need to do another round i think we need to try again we have incredible doctors um that have kind of helped us speed line this so that we don't because we started in february and it took us until september for our egg retrieval and obviously the biggest factors in all of this were um, financial and then waiting. How long is this gonna take and how much is this gonna cost to do another round? And so they've really just sped things up for us and helped us make this a possibility um, financially and in our timeline. So right now, Brandon is, he has met with a different doctor that will do his aspiration. 
Um, this doctor has ordered blood tests that are going to test all of his levels. Um, they are going to actually put him to sleep this time. Um, he was awake last time. Um, and they hope to get four to six vials as opposed to the three that he got last time. They ended up thawing two vials last time to fertilize the eggs that we had. So we still have one vial frozen from that round. Um, so the hope is to get four to six vials. Brandon's new aspiration will be in December. And then we hope to start stem meds in January with a transfer in February. So there's a little bit of a delay. You are so stinking cute. Do you know that? So there's been a little bit of a delay. We are just cruising through. Um, I think the holidays are going to help kind of keep us occupied and keep our mind off of things. Um, I did have to go to two baby showers over the weekend and that was a little hard. Um, it was bearable, but it was a little hard knowing that I could have been pregnant at those baby showers. Um, but we've got to trust in God's timing and God's plan and God was pulling us to wait to try again try another round i think this delay has happened for a reason um god has a plan god's timing is always perfect and so we are going to <sighs> go right line gets boring guys so we are going to trust in that plan um and we are going to hopefully pick things up in the new year um with a due date around october what do you think? A Halloween baby? Yes. Yes. September or October. <laughs> so that is where we're at. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I will keep you guys updated as we plan to restart this entire journey. We love you guys. So hopeful for a baby Davis in 2024.